today we're talking about the Ziyun Train 2 and how to get cinematic footage from this DSLR gimbal. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex Chung and here are six different cinematic shots that you can get on a gimbal. Let's get into it. The basic shot. Hold your gimbal chest level and begin following your subject as he or she walks in front of you. Try playing around with how far or how close you are to your subject to get a different look. Pro tip, make sure you're slightly bending your knees as you're walking and use a heel to toe motion as you're moving. This way you reduce any shaking that occurs as you're walking. Off to the side. Hold your gimbal eye level and begin following your subject on the side as he or she walks forward. Make sure you bring your arms close to your body and lock it in place so that your shot doesn't bounce up and down too much. Pro tip, try passing through objects to make your shot more dynamic and cinematic. Spinning around. Hold your gimbal eye level or low angle and start moving around in a circle around your subject. Try moving closer and further away from your subject to get a different look. Get low. Hold your gimbal close to the ground and follow your subject to track their feet. Pro tip, you can flip your gimbal upside down to make it easier to grab this shot. Make sure you put your gimbal on standby mode first or else it will ruin your motors. Taking the lead, hold your gimbal chest level and start walking backwards as your subject is walking towards the camera. Pro tip, if you have a flip out screen, you can turn your camera around and use your flip out screen to frame your shot as you walk forwards instead of backwards. This way, it's a bit safer to do. Dolly shot. Hold your gimbal eye level and move closer or further away from your subject as he or she stands still. Pro tip, in post you can digitally zoom in your shot as it zooms out or vice versa. This creates what's known as a zolly shot. This does take practice to do but once you learn it, it is a really really cool effect for your videos. That's it for this video, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. My name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later.